Imagine being dropped into a mysterious Minecraft server where players have the ability to catch and train Pokemon. Well, today, me and 100 other players will be trying their best to survive for the next 3 real life days in a giant Pokemon battle royale. Of which on the third day, if you lose a Pokemon battle, you die. Will I be able to catch the best Pokemon, unravel the mysteries of this world and ultimately be the last one standing? Well, I was about to find out when I spawned into my hardest challenge yet. Also, thank you to PokeUp for sponsoring this video, follow the links in the description to start playing today. Alright, here we are, what the heck are you doing? As soon as I got dropped into the world, the first thing I had to do was pick a starter Pokemon. I had three options here. A Bulbasaur, which is a grass poison type, a Charmander, a fire type, and Squirtle, a water type. You see for me there's only one correct decision here and that just got to be the Charmander. I decided to go for the Charmander because, well, I'm hella fire too. You're gonna be my best friend from now on. Anyways, uh, after I had selected my starter, it was time for me to explore the world a bit and you know, take out some innocent creatures. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. First battle, we're gonna go for an Ember. That did quite a bit of damage. You're about to die. You're about to die. The poor Weedle that was weak to my fire type didn't stand a chance against my Charmander. And after only using two Ember attacks, it was easily put down. Yeah, I know, it, it is horrible, but it has to happen. You see, every time you defeat another Pokemon, your own Pokemon will level up. Which is important if you want your Pokemon to become stronger. Well, <laughs> damn, we're level 9 already from one battle. I mean, we did beat a Pokemon that was a higher level than we were, but... Anyway, let's just have a look around in the area and see if we can find something. Wait a second, I see something in the distance. That is a structure. Is that a, is that a Pokemart? I think it is. Okay, 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 this is good. What do we have here? I'm just gonna ignore all the Pokemon around me that are constantly grabbing my attention. <laughs> Alright, oh, we got an Apricorn tree here as well. We need that. Alright, damn. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this, this is a Poke Center. Okay, that's nice. After I walked for a bit, I stumbled up on this town, which included the Pokemart, Poke Center, as well as a gym. But most notably, this town also included some valuable loot. Holy moly. Uh, uh, Alright, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take that anytime. That is a very nice addition. Let's have a look if we can find anything else here. Got a Butterfree here of only level 10. Might want to smack it. Fighting this Butterfree, however, turned out to not be my best of ideas, as the Butterfree immediately confused my Charmander by using Supersonic, a move that makes your Pokemon hit itself. I hit myself with confusion again. Oh no, oh no, we're about... I better not hit myself. No way, I just lost... <laughs> I just lost... I just lost my first... I lost my second battle on the server and it was against a... It was against a Butterfree. Well... That sucks, that just sucks. Luckily for us, there's a Poké Center right here, so we're good. Okay, nice. It was clear that I needed some training, or perhaps expand my team with a few new Pokémon. Alright, let's have a look in this gym. We got a Rattata over here, and of course, we got some more barrels. Leftovers, more Pokéballs. This is, this is insane, just look at this! <laughs> Still... <laughs> at the start of this event, all the players were teleported to a random location on the map. The fact that I happened to stumble up on this town first can be considered very lucky. However, it didn't last very long before more players found this settlement. Oh my god, that looks absolutely menacing. Should I battle it? No, it's level 27. If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna die for sure. I'm not gonna lose again. We might have lost against that. What? Hello? What? Hey, Lunari, yo! What? <laughs> How convenient. Uh, w w welcome to my, to, my, to my beautiful village. Oh, it's your village? Yeah, I was just looting. It's, I found so much loot. It's incredible. I found oh, leftovers. Yeah, I found a bunch of stuff too. I have like 58 Pokeballs. Wait, wait, wait a second. I want to try something. I want to try something. I, I want to catch me, TJ. Ah, uh, that would have been so fun. I'm like, okay, wait, that's just. <laughs> I have to heal my Pokemon. He's dead. One oh second. yeah, my Pokemon also died already. It's uh, it's it's yeah, kind of sad. Yeah, I've been trying to level him up. It's not going very well. Here, look at him. You got a squ- wait, shall we just- shall we battle? After meeting up and chatting for a bit, me and Lunari decided to team up so we could train our Pokemon together. Aside from that, we of course also decided to have a Pokemon battle. Okay, here we go, here we go. <gasps> oh, look, he's so cute! However, the odds in this battle were against me, as her starter Pokemon turned out to be a water type, 
which is super effective against my fire type Charmander. Uh, right, I have an idea. Because of this, I decided to use Smoke Screen, which is a move that lowers the accuracy of the opposing Pokemon, with the hopes that it might not be able to hit me anymore. No! What? Wait, let me Did pull I, one more. No, 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 no. No way! No! Oh my god, he just fell down! It's okay, you can do it. <laughs> Yeah, the smoke screen strategy did not work. And so, after three Pokemon battles in total, I had lost two of them. Not a great start, but luckily for me, it was still day one. So losing a battle did not really come with a cost yet. But in two days from now, losing a Pokemon battle would equal death. By the way, for those of you wondering, what we're playing here is a new Minecraft mod called Cobblemon. Which is basically Pixelmon, but like Minecraft. If you enjoy Pokemon at Minecraft, this is definitely the best mod out there. But what good is a Minecraft mod if you don't have a good server to play it on? Well, Pokehub is the number one Cobblemon server for a reason. With a friendly community and fun features, there are a ton of things to do. Their team is dedicated to keeping the server fresh with constant updates and even hosts $500 cash prize tournaments. So just make sure to check out how to start playing in the description so you can join the best Cobblemon on server today. After wandering around for a little while, me and Lunari decided to leave the village to look for more Pokemon. And well, let's just say that we happened to stumble upon one of my favorite Pokemon. I need this, I need this, I need this. This is an Eevee. It's Eevee! What am I gonna do? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna catch it. Alright. Alright, let's see. Oh my god. It's me who gets it. No way! Oh! Okay, it's gonna hurt me, it's gonna hurt me. Alright, let me... I need this Eevee. The Charmin is just looking at it like, what the hell is going on? I did not! Come on! What? Give me this Eevee, I need it! Let me, let me, let me catch that it. Way. Come on. Stupid Eevee! Come on! <laughs> Alright. This is gonna be it, this is gonna be it. Come on. It's, it's killing my Charmander, come on. All right, I'm gonna do a little scratch, a little scratchy. Oh, it doesn't even do that much damage. All right, come on, please, let me have this Eevee. Yes! Oh, I got an Eevee. Oh, that feels great, that feels great. After a few exhausting minutes, I finally managed to catch the Eevee. Meaning that my team now consisted out of two Pokemon. What in the holy is hell that? is that? That looks absolutely disgusting. Do you want it? Get out of here, lick your tongue. We don't want you here. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna release my anger on this caterpillar. No! Ah! Okay. <laughs> oh, the kill animations are actually kinda sad. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, okay. no, they make my heart like After beating up the Licky Tongue and killing some caterpillars, we decided to get some basic resources. As well as train our Pokemon some more. During which Lunari also caught her third Pokemon. A hey, Psyduck. He's having a mental breakdown. <laughs> okay, I, I, I kinda understand why you wanted a Psyduck. I kinda do. Now that I think about it, by the way, in my inventory I have an XP share. If I put the XP share on, for example, my Eevee, I might be able to share XP. There's a structure over there. What? Oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm fighting a snake. Hold on. Let oh, me kill okay. it. But before we even reached the village, Lunari was about to catch something that absolutely shocked me. Another structure. Oh, what's this? What in the holy heck? That is a Rhydon. I don't think we're ready for this. <gasps> He's so cute though. I'm gonna catch it. Wait. I'm gonna catch it. Don't worry. Don't even um, think about it. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. Look. No, I was too late. I'm catching him. It, it gives like a greater chance depending on how heavy it is. And he looks pretty heavy. No way, no way you just caught that. No way you just got that. Oh my god. Look at him. There's no way you just caught that level 43 ride on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is called dump luck at its finest. With the much needed luck, Lunari managed to catch a level 40 Rhydon, instantly making her team quite powerful. To put this into perspective, the rest of our Pokemon were still level 15 or lower. But just at that moment, something seemed to happen to my Charmander. But wait a second, Charmander seems ready to evolve. Yo, Lunari, guess what? Guess what? What? Oh, wait. Oh my god. That's that different. Was yeah, it evolved. After about 30 minutes of training, my Charmander had reached its next stage. 
and was able to evolve into Charmeleon. Subsequently, Lunaria and I decided to explore the land some more and trained our Pokemon up to level 20. Until we stumbled upon something very big. I actually just want to get out of this savanna biome. I absolutely hate it. All you have here are like <laughs> moving rocks and birds that I do not like. There's so many birds. Look at the sky. Is the sky changing like for you as well? It's like great. Uh, yeah, it, look, it looks so very weird. um like foggy. I don't like it. Like an eerie. What in my? What, what is that? The... Oh my god, that is a big. Th okay, wait, wait a second. Wait, we, we have might... to go here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look in here. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, it's, it's been looted. It's been looted. I just want to have a look at the top. Any Pokemon in here? Hello? After we had found this tower, which seemed to resemble some type of sacred place, it didn't last long before we found out that we were not alone here. But there's someone up there as well. Hello? I don't have that many. Anyone Hello? up here? He's on the roof. Uh, it was up there. He's literally on the roof. What? Hello? What? Hello? Hello, hello. Are you okay? Hello, uh, look out oh, here. Not okay. You're not okay? Hey, who the hell are you? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, <laughs> be careful, bro. You almost killed me. I don't want to fall off this tower. Why the heck are you on this rooftop? What? I was searching for a cool Pokemon, man. Well, uh, they have nothing up here. As soon as we reached the top of the structure, we found a player named Buck. Who had climbed the tower earlier to look for Pokemon? Do you wanna? Do you wanna battle? Do you wanna see t test our strength? You know? Are you sure you wanna battle me? I am sure well, I, I wanna battle, battle you. you. All right, it's time to get you. Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't know. You. Oh. This doesn't look very well. Um, Box sent out a Pidgeotto, a flying type Pokemon that could potentially do a lot of damage to my Charmeleon. However, instead of directly attacking me, Buck used the same strategy as I tried to do against Lunari earlier by using Smokescreen. No, I missed! I missed, I missed. You seriously playing like this? I, I have to, I have tackle! That's it! Sooner or later I will hit you, yes I will. Okay. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit it, please. Please don't hit, please don't Yes I did! No! Good. Luckily for me, the smokescreen tactic did not work for him either, and so I took out his Pidgeotto without much difficulty. Wait, you switched? Wait, you got another Pokemon? Of Yo, what you... is that? What? Come on. It's, it's, a, it's a training mission. Oh my god, I got Don't a critical worry, I... hit as well. Okay. Do you wanna, do you wanna, uh, do you wanna uh, hop along with, uh, with us, uh, Buck, by any chance? You, uh... Yeah, sure, why not? After beating Buck in a fight, Lunar and I invited Buck to join our team. To which he accepted. While we were going down to leave the tower, we also stumbled upon Lunari's favorite Pokemon. <gasps> huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's like uh, the main Pokemon of the whole game. Was he catching? Am I the main character now? I'm the main character. Oh damn! You oh, got a God. Pikachu. Yeah, I'll fight that Pikachu. We need, we need to come up with a plan, guys, because if we are not going to train our Pokemon, we're gonna die, and we might as well build ourselves a little home, maybe. During the following minutes, all three of us decided to train some more, as well as catch some new Pokemon. While I managed to catch my third Pokemon, a Rhyhorn, Buck also caught a pretty strong Pokemon, a Kangaskhan. Very, oh... Uh, He's a beast! He's a tank! He's Kangaskhan! <laughs> The bond between me, Buck and Lunari was slowly growing. And with the new Pokemon added to our team, things were finally starting to look like something. But there was one thing that we were still missing. A place to settle. At the same time, rumors started spreading around the world that over in the west, a fiery bird had been spotted in the sky. In the world of Pokemon, there are three legendary birds. Zepdos, Moltres and Articuno which all possess insanely strong powers. If someone would manage to catch one of these birds, he or she would become incredibly powerful. However, the exact location of these birds remained to be a mystery. I gotta say, this looks like a nice spot just... to build a home. It does. All right, let's just start some cutting down some trees. Buckless, I, I have a task for you, okay? We're gonna cut down trees. If you're gonna go into the mines and get us some iron and stone for the building, yeah, would that be an idea? Yeah, I can do that. That'd be a battle. After Buck had gathered stone from the mines and me and Lunari had collected wood and other materials from the service, we started building our new home. And after a couple of hours, it was finally finished. Okay, 
That is nice. Um, uh, let me smell all this copper that I got from the mines so we can start making Pokeballs. After we had finished the home, me, Lunari, and Buck each decided to train our Pokemon up to at least level 28. Dragon Rage is such a great move when you're a low level because it always does, uh, I believe, 60 HP of damage. Oh my god, is that a cold arc? The Pokemon are getting stronger and stronger, damn. Let's see what we can do. Let's do another Dragon Rage. If he's going to do one water move, I'm done for. <laughs> All right, nice. We just killed an overleveled Golduck. <laughs> awesome. We're level 29 now. Yo, Lunari, Lunari, yo. Oh my God. You kidding me? Lunari, no way. No way you do. This is, this is <laughs> insane. Look at them all. They're all going crazy. Uh, I think they're enjoying their time perfectly. If you're walking around, it looks so stupid when they're like, oh, like following you. Just walk for a bit. Just walk for a bit. Just look at it. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> you and your Psyduck army. It's crazy. With Lunari's Psyduck army and our new home established, it of course wasn't going to last long before passing travelers would find us. Wait, wait. I see a name tag. Hold on. Is that Buckless? This is the house. Hey, hello. Hello. Is that Ash? Hello. Is that Ash? Nah, I just stole the cap after I defeated him. Welcome, oh, this, this is our house. home. This is our home, yeah, Damn. with our Psyduck army. This Psyduck team is stronger than my team. Um, like what I, what I, is I, your I, team? What Pokemon do you have? So, I... Um, and, and, and like... And like this. And, and uh, I mean, I... Yeah. I, I, I've been in the cave for a while. This player, which went by the name Sazu, had spent most of the first day mining for ores, meaning that his Pokemon were not trained at all. Hey, Sazu, I think you need some help. How about you join our team? We're with uh, one other person who is like currently training up his Pokemon, so... Uh... Yeah, I think I'll take on that suggestion, because um, I haven't really been putting much fun into my Pokemon. And so, Sazu joined our team as our fourth member. However, the fact that Sazu spent so much time on the ground meant that he had managed to acquire something that we had not been able to find yet. But look what I also yeah. have. Oh, wait. Do you want this? Is that thunder? Wait, yeah. wait yes. you by yes. any yes. chance of a... Do you by any chance have a water stone as well? Uh, yeah, I, I do actually. I have two. What, what would be better? A Jolteon? A Vaporeon? Or a... Flarian. Oh, Flarian. Yeah. Alright, alright. Uh, if you give me the water stone, I will give you back one dive ball. You know what? It's worth it. <laughs> there we go. It's totally worth it. Oh my it. god. Okay, watch this, guys. Watch this. I should be able to <laughs> give this to my Eevee. Hello? You want Eevee? Oh, that's so cute. Wait, what oh, just happened? Wait, I can, I you can put Pokemon you on, your on your head? Yeah, for example, the Pikachu. <gasps> what? You get to have speed, right? You, you run faster. That looks so cute! I, little, I don't know, I feel a little bit faster though. That looks so cute! Hey, can I have the thunderstone? You might have not leveled up your Pokemon, but you going into the mines was the best thing that could have happened to, to all of us. <laughs> have a look, have a look. This was you, this was you, Sazu. Oh my god. My so cute. Eevee turned into a Vaporeon. <gasps> So well. And with my Eevee having evolved into Vaporeon with the use of Sasu's Waterstone, the first day came to an end. As soon as the sun had set, me and Bug decided to look for some more Pokemon that would only show up during the night. Damn, Vaporeon has so much HP, it's only level 26 and already has 106. But me and Buck already lost each other after a few minutes while exploring a cherry blossom biome. Buck! Yo, Buck! I lost Buck. And that's when I stumbled up on this lonely trainer. Wait, hello! How, how's your Pokemon experience going? It, it's, it's going rough. It's, uh, uh, I'm trying to level them up, but it doesn't go as quickly as I hoped for. What level is your Waddles? What, what Pokemon do you have? Uh, just these three. I haven't done too much Pokemon catching. You do have a... Do you want a battle? Uh, I'm gonna get destroyed, but sure. Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna get mauled. Um... <laughs> oh, no. oh, I'm so sorry, mate. I didn't... <laughs> This trainer turned out to be heavily underleveled, meaning that he was not a challenge at all. Hey, Waddles, no! <laughs> oh no! I'm so sorry, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, Chip, no! <laughs> oh, poor Ditto. Okay, I, I guess. I just uh, got massacred. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, wait, I, I, I feel bad now. Wait, I have something for you. Hold on. I feel, I feel bad. Wait, take this, um, take the, take these nice glasses. You can have them. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, that poor guy. Uh, he did not deserve that at all. Wait a second, my arch nemesis. Hey, Butterfree, you're gonna die. You killed me at the start of the event. This is not gonna happen again. We're gonna start with a fire fang and we're gonna absolutely destroy this Butterfree. Yeah, it's 41. Another fire fang. It, it killed me again. But this time I have more Pokemon, so... He won't be able to do this again. Smack down. Bam. There goes Butterfree. Easy. And finally, after looking for a while, I found Buck again. Who seemed to be very busy with something big. What? An Alakazam, oh. bro. That oh, you better catch this, Buckless. This is this is uh, this is unarguably one of oh. the most well, one of the strongest Pokemon in the first generation. I just killed it. No! Yo, no way! No way you just I, did that! I did a headbutt and it killed it. Yep. Uh, Buck one shot one of the rarest Pokemon in the first generation. And after more people arrived to catch the Alakazam, they got kind of mad when they found out what Buck had just done. Why'd you kill the Alakazam? Bro, it is I a special tried, attacker. Bro. It is a special attacker. Yes, but Dude, I've been looking for an Abra all day. Yes, I have been too, Milk. So I many people killed, gave it. Oh. I killed it. On action. All right, guys. Was Buck, let's away. get out of here before people all are going right. to get mad. Yeah, yeah, they're all, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, true trash. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. It just kind of disappeared. No. Buck now for sure had gotten himself a few bounties on his head for the next day. Nevertheless, just at that moment, it was as if the universe gave him a second chance. You can you can find Jew dudes all over the place. Uh, wait a second. Hey, wait a minute. <gasps> wait. Uh, so, uh, it's, it's yours, man. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. All right. Here we go. So it's just a catch. It's an ultra ball, and he has no help. This is yes. Yeah, that was Already cake. got it. That was cake. Oh, thank oh. God. Wait, I think I can evolve it. You can evolve it in an Akadabra? Yeah. Wait, but if you didn't trade with me and trade back, you get an Alakazam, right? Uh, yes. All right, then I'm just going to put in my Rhyhorn. We're going to do trade. And then we're going to trade back again. Wait, we're going to trade back. I'm going to give you the Kadabra. And now you should be able to evolve it, right? Aside from leveling and using specific stones, some Pokemon can only evolve by trading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yes, oh. sir. Bro, I'm about, oh, dude, I got power level this guy. Right after you killed one, you managed to get one. <laughs> All right. But the night was about to get even better while I was exploring a bit on my own. Now that I think about it, I might want to look for an Alakazam as well. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna battle this. I'm gonna battle this. Okay, this, 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 this is, this is huge. This is huge. This is huge. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna immediately use a quick ball first. Try and catch it. This works. I'm gonna... You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that was just too easy. That was just too easy. Damn. Alright. 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 That's... Oh my... That's crazy. Damn. Our team is starting to look a little bit like how I want it to look like. We got a Charmeleon, a Vaporeon, a Rhyhorn, and a Gengar. I managed to catch a Gengar, meaning that my team now consisted out of four Pokemon. Upon returning at our base, it turned out that while was gone, our home had turned into some type of hotspot. As during the night, many trainers had started to collect around our house. Yo, hello guys! Good. Yo TJ, right how are you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, I see you've all found my uh, my beautiful home. Welcome, welcome. Uh, to yeah. your house. Yeah, Nick oh. told us it was hers. Yeah, um, it's ours. Really it's right. ours. It's ours. Well, how are you doing, Quals? You you like it? You like it here? Yeah, I joined about 20 minutes ago, but I've been I've been doing a bit of leveling, you know yourself. You've again. You're only online for 30 minutes, and you already have a level 39 Venusaur. Are you out of your mind? I've been yeah. I've been EV grinding heavy. I've been EV grinding so heavy. <laughs> let me see. Let me see what you got. I have a Charmeleon, I have okay. a Vaporeon. He uh, would be tough for me to go. fight, but oh uh, my God. the Rhyhorn oh, and the Vaporeon, I'm the super Vaporeon. effective against them. So we'll have oh, to see shoot. what happens Hold tomorrow, up. TJ. What, I better... Uh, damn, you're, you're, you're challenging what? me for a fight tomorrow, you wanna, you wanna eliminate me. What did you get? 
Uh, I would I'm like level, to I'm attempt level, to oh eliminate you, TJ. Level. We'll go tomorrow. We'll what? see what happens. <laughs> all right, all right. Sure thing, sure thing. I'm going to yeah, get back to leveling. Keep grinding, keep grinding. Yeah, I'm going to get leveling. I'm going to get my party of six ready for you, TJ. All right, all right, all right. Sure thing. Yeah, so players were already starting to become mildly hostile. While Lunari and Sazu were still training together at a different location, as soon as the night was over, me and Buck decided to go on a mission. Buck, I, uh, I, I, have, a, I have a proposition. I have the perfect idea. So I've been told that Dratinis spawn in underwater caves. So what I want to do is, I want to find an underwater cave with you and look for a Dratini. Have you have a Dratini? When I went. No, 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 I have another water cave. I'd say, I'd, say, I'd say we look for another water cave and then just try to get a Dratini till we can get a Dragonite. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We have one at our base. Yeah, but there are, there are so many people there and I don't want them to steal a Dratini from us in case it spawns. Yeah, well, that that's also a thing, by the way. Tomorrow, we should not go to our base uh, because right. there's, it, it, it has turned into a hot spot and we will die there. One of the most feared Pokemon that is not a legendary is Dragonite, a dragon type Pokemon that is more than capable of sweeping entire teams. However, getting one is hard. You need to catch a Jutini, which are only found in underwater caves, which on their own are already dangerous locations when it comes to the risk of drowning, to then level it up to level 55. The thing is, we only had one more day before the bloodshed would start and having a Dragonite on our teams could give us a huge advantage. And so, me and Buck decided to look for a Dratini. So, we need to look for an underwater cave. We're gonna find you a Firestone for your Vulpix. And, oh wait, let me... We might as well just fight every Pokemon that we stumble upon. At the same time, in order to help some of the trainers, supply drops were being dropped all around the map, which included materials such as potions, revives, and battle items, which can be very valuable. But before we were going to look for one, Buck and me decided to compare our strengths. Alright. Okay. Buck started off by sending out his Pidgeotto, while I sent out my Charmeleon. The first move I selected being Smokescreen, with the hopes that it might work this time. Smokescreen is crazy, Anton. That's crazy. <laughs> but you can just switch out, right? Alright, please burn, please burn. And it did, as Buck missed several of his moves giving me an easy opportunity to take out the Pidgeotto using Fire Fang and Slash. No way! I shouldn't have done Slash. <laughs> okay. Alright, you take that, you take that, you got that, you got that. After Pidgeotto's defeat, Buck sent out my biggest concern, Alakazam. That Alakazam, by the way, looks at my Charmeleon like he's going to absolutely destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. Mark him. <laughs> oh, I gotta get a, I gotta get a screenshot. <laughs> he is so mad. Oh, he's gonna. <laughs> he's just staring at him like I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> and as I expected, he took out my Charmeleon without any difficulty. Didn't really work out. Hey, he looks kind of satisfied now. You see. Which meant that it now was Rhyhorn's turn, who also didn't really stand a chance. Alright, it's time for Gengar to shine. And even Gengar was easily put down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my Gengar! Which only left me with Vaporeon. Oh, Vaporeon's a tank. Vaporeon's a tank! Vaporeon's insane amount of HP meant that he could withstand one of Alakazam's attacks. And because of that, Buck switched him out and brought in a Vulpix. Just, I, like, I just caught him in front of you. And after taking it out, it was his Golem's turn. I'll show you in style. Uh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He doesn't have a chance against Vaporeon. Let's be honest. Because of Golem's ability sturdy, he remained on 1 HP after I did a super effective move. And after that, Buck tried to take out my Vaporeon using Explosion. But my Vaporeon was so tanky that he even survived that move. And oh, even wait, wait, he killed it! Yeah, and Vaporeon just tanked it. Alright, no more toying around. <laughs> die now. Yeah, he, he's done. I'm done for. But after sending out his final Pokemon, Venusaur, it was over. I thought that Golem was gonna kill it. Dude, your Vaporeon's tanky. My Alakazam can't even half help it. After the battle, me and Buck continued walking north to the ocean as our chances of finding a water cave there are much higher. But on our way there, we did stumble upon a few things. Oh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, this... <laughs> Wait. The other tower we found earlier was yellow, this one's blue. There's signs on it. There's people here. It turned out that this tower was inhabited by a few trainers, who weren't really looking for company. 
It was just after we left this tower when we found something very nice. Uh, buck, 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 buck. Yo, supply drop, supply drop, supply drop, supply drop. Whoop. Oh, be careful though, be careful though. I've, these things have been, no, no, it's not trapped, I think. No, it's definitely not trapped if it's pasted in like this. Okay, loot it. Oh God, I found a max revive. Moonstone, lots of balls. A live warp, more pokeballs. You need the firestone you set, right? Yeah, 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 you got a firestone. Guess what? Guess what I found? Yeah. All right, let's let's keep looting it real quick. I need to figure out. I need to really figure out what I want and what I do not want. Me and Buck had found one of the many supply drops that have been placed around the world, giving us lots of useful items. Okay, that's sick. A level twenty-six nine tails. It's not even that big. All right, Buck. Um, uh, let's have a look. Uh, we should find a water cave. This is this looks like a terrain for a water cave, by the way. I'm not gonna lie. Let's craft some doors. You need a few as well, I suppose. All right, let's go down. All right. You you can up you go up front. Be careful though. All right. All we gotta do is just wander around here for a bit, Buckless, until we find a Dratini. Don't forget where we came from, by the way. This is, uh... That's this is... Wait, wait, the, the, you could go in our direction over there. Okay, let's... Uh, 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 no, please! My, my ears first. <laughs> you can go that way. You tricked me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Get the other door, get the other door! Get the other door. Okay. okay. We need to have a plan. We need to have a plan. We need to have a plan. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so if you do find a Dratini, make sure you place down a door first, stand in the air pocket, and then battle it, okay? You don't want to drown while battling. That would be a very sad way to go. Okay, the, the way out is over here. This cave turned out to be way too small for Dratinis to spawn. So we had to keep looking for a bigger one. Okay, this, this cave sucked. This one is not gonna give us a Dratini for sure. We should go to the ocean. Uh, the chances of finding a water cave there are much higher. All right, we all we need to find is a get the hell out of here, Magikarp. I'm looking for a cave. Just punch a Magikarp? Yeah. That's Pokemon abuse. Yo, Buck, I, I found a water cave, I think. A pretty big one. Uh, Buckless, be careful, my mate. We're in dangerous territory once again. I am a chill one. Chillax. Alright, let me break this door. Follow me. Where did we come from? Oh, we need to go that way. We need to go deeper here. So yeah, I might need to get... Press another door. Uh, Alright, I'm good. Oh! Anti, I swear to God, I just saw a thing. Where? Where? Yeah, I just saw it. It went that way. I didn't see it. Ah, 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 where? Ah. Where? Where? Which oh, way? It's right there. Up, up and right. Up and right. Up and right. Where? Up and left. Up and right. Over right there. It's literally floating. I see it. Okay, wait, wait. Place the door. Uh, you bail oh, it. You oh, bail there's it. There's air up here. There's up here. There's air up here. <gasps> oh, there's another one. Where? Right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Good. 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 Ah. Okay. I'm gonna follow this one. Ow. And hopefully I'm not gonna kill myself in the meantime. Get over here, Dratini. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it's, uh, it's above ground now. Can Dratini go above ground? Uh, you okay? You good? I'm good. I'm going for it. I missed it. I missed it. Where is he? I lost him. No, Dratini. It's down here. Okay. I should not kill it accidentally. I should not kill it accidentally. I'm gonna do fury attack. Oh, it's 23 health. Okay, that's good. Catch. I'm gonna. Ah, I got mine. You know what? I'm gonna use a normal Pokeball on him. Please catch. Please catch. Please catch. Please catch. Oh no. All right, now we do it again. Sure thing. Stay away, Diglett. I'm catching a Dratini. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That is amazing. Yes, I did. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. Dratini, uh, welcome to the gang. And with Dratini card, our mission was complete. And it was time to regroup with Sazu and Lunari. Yo, Lunari, Sazu. Yo, 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 yo.
However, upon returning home, Lunari and Sazu did not come with good news. Apparently, while we were gone, several trainers had plundered our home and stolen all our valuable loot. And with day 2 slowly coming to an end, we confirmed that this place was not safe anymore. And so we decided to leave the house for once and for all and train our Pokemon at a different location. Listen up guys, so for tomorrow. From tomorrow onwards, if someone loses a Pokemon battle, he or she dies. Like, can we, can I count on all of you that we will not battle each other for as long as possible? We, yeah, battle each other. we have the power of friendship. Exactly, Th that's kind of cringe, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> the thing is, we will, the thing is, we just shouldn't battle each other because if we battle each other, someone has to die. And so we started moving. Anything over level 30, I'm killing. Me too. Mewtwo. <laughs> you don't believe that nonsense, do you? I think it's a cool concept. Uh, I don't. I don't have any evidence pointing towards it being true, though. You know, I believe it, and I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> yeah, I think. I'll be better to you guys. I'm interested in fairy tales. Fairy exactly. tales. Come on, Sazu. No. Oh Jesus, dude, look at this by the way, this is like a hellhole. Oh! After discussing a few fairy tales, as Sazu like to call them, we stumbled up on a few players building their own Poke Center. There's a structure there, someone's building. Someone's built. Okay, Shall we have a look? Yeah, yeah just a quick look. building their own Poke Center. Welcome to the Pokemon Center! <laughs> oh, you're using wow. Oh, hello. Ah, Wait, no, you did <laughs> Yeah, a great impression of the Poke Center nurse, Venti. Are you guys <laughs> <laughs> what is she okay? <laughs> he didn't hear your impression. He didn't hear the impression. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine, guys. What are you we're doing? safe. We're safe. We're safe. What are you doing? Anyways, after this peculiar encounter, we kept heading west and trained most of our Pokemon to at least level 40. Lunari caught a Lapras, and my Charmeleon was finally ready to evolve. You guys need to see this. You guys need to see this. It's finally time. I finally did it. It took me a while. Charmin. Oh my god. It's oh. about to happen. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh, this feels great. This feels great. But at that same time, something very big was about to happen. Wait a minute. Guys. Hey, guys. L look at the chat. A, a legendary Moltres has spawned. Wait, that's pretty close. That's, that's like. That's pretty close. Alright, we, we should go there. We should go there. We should go there. All of us were shocked when it was announced that Moltres, one of the three legendary birds, had shown himself at one of the sacred towers. Oh, it's there. <laughs> Look. Oh my god. Oh, oh there's someone there already. Where? There are people climbing the ladder. Uh, I'm taking this ladder. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, so many people here. Where is it? Where is it? Catch it, catch it, bro. Oh my god, it's a Moltres. Oh, who's, who's fighting it? Who's fighting it? Okay, okay, okay. Skeleton, catch it for us. But just at that moment, when we all thought that he was gonna catch it, he killed it. You <laughs> killed it! You actually killed yes. it. Yes! Oh my god! You killed it! Let's go! Why'd you kill it? Why'd yes. you kill it? Yes. Let's go! Yes. Another trainer named Skeleton Wizard had gotten to the Moltres first. And instead of trying to catch it, took it out. So no one else would be able to get the powers that Moltres possessed. Let's head out guys before the day is over. Alright, let's move out. Let's move really out. That's good. That's out. less competition. I mean, to be fairly honest, how sad it is for the legendary. I'm not. I'm, I'm not really bothered by it because that means that player doesn't, didn't actually get Moltres. Soon after that, knowing that the other two legendary birds would have to show up sooner or later as well, we decided to head back to the yellow tower where Lunari and I met Buck during the first day. And along the way, we also trained our Pokémon some more, as me and Buck still had to grind for that Dragonite. Oh, and I still need to evolve my Rhyhorn too. At what level does Rhyhorn evolve into Rhydon? Do you guys know that? Because your Rhydon was like level 42, right? So it should be almost leveled up as well. Alright guys, Rhyhorn is ready to evolve. I did it. Now I have a Jimmy as well. Okay, good, 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 good. And right after I evolved my Rhyhorn into a Rhydon, our prediction turned out to be correct. 
All right, I got a ride on now as well. That's great. I got a ride on a Vaporeon, a Charizard, a Gengar, and I still need to level up my Dratini to a Dragonite. And then we'll see. Oh. After Moltres, now Zebdos had shown himself as well. This time at the Yellow Sacred Temple. And of course, we didn't waste any time and decided to head there immediately. Go, 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 guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're not, we're not very far away from the tower. Come on. We, we've been there earlier, me and Lunarian Buck. Come on. Go, 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 go. I'm not again gonna watch someone else kill the legendary bird, okay? Sazu, you're walking so fast! Sazu, you're the worst tracker in history. You said it was a thousand blocks away. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Oh, that's a big hill. Oh, I see it. I see it. Alright guys, who's who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? I, I need to know. I'm... Okay, okay, okay. I have a deal for you, Lunari. Uh, if, for whatever reason, Mewtwo turns out to exist, and we managed to catch it or whatever, you can you can have it. You can have it, okay? Okay. I really want you to. There doesn't seem to be any other person here yet. Uh it's on the rooftop, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's on the roof again. Alright, take the letter. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, this is where we actually met Bucklet. Oh here it is! It is here! Holy Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna battle it. Oh, it's trying to Wait, fly away. away. Alright. I'm attacking, okay. Wait, 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 wait. There's a quick ball. A quick ball. Uh, alright, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll try a quick ball immediately. If I, if I catch this one in one go, I, I'm gonna eat my shoe. <laughs> I'll... Oh? Of oh. course not, it's a legendary. Alright. <laughs> Will one smackdown kill it immediately? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, I'm going for a horn attack then. Alright, it doesn't. I'm gonna do another horn attack. This was going to be the start of a very long, exhausting confrontation, as Zebdos kept doing roost, healing its own HP. Alright, I'm gonna try a fast ball, because a fast Pokemon. Alright, please. I hate, I hate this Pokemon. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to Gengar, and hopefully I can put it to sleep. It's healing up again, but that doesn't matter. We just need to put it to sleep. I have one Dream Ball, four times on sleeping Pokemon. Wait, I should damage it a little bit more as well with Rhydon again. Hopefully it will stay asleep. Oh, it immediately woke up. Damn, this guy. This is so tense, guys, my heart. I want this one so bad. There's no one here yet, right? No, not yet. I don't even see anybody climbing. Wait, just break the ladders to make sure they're not gonna all right, I can do another horn attack, possibly. Oh, it's roosting again. I think I have to outstall its roost. How many times can a Pokemon do roost? Oh, it killed my Rhydon. All right, it's time for Gengar to put it to sleep again. Now I'm gonna switch it to my Vaporeon because it's a higher level. It woke up immediately again? All right, I'm just gonna try a Ultra Ball, whatever. I have, I have enough balls to try it. All right, will it? Oh no, and it's killing my Vaporeon. Come on, 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 guys. Oh, oh my God. I'm just gonna try to keep catching it until my Vaporeon is dead and I'm gonna put it to sleep again. See if that works. No matter how hard I tried, the Zebdos kept breaking free. And with the bird also spamming roost and constantly waking up after I put it to sleep, this encounter was slowly turning into an absolute disaster. How many of my Ultra Balls is this guy gonna take from me? I'm not giving up. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh. I got it! <laughs> oh my god, let's see one real quick. Oh my god, guys, I I wanna I wanna thank you guys for the for your generosity in in, in this case. I really do. Oh my god. Can you fly on it? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Okay, we got Zebdos. Awesome. While I managed to catch Zebdos, word also spread across the country that another mysterious trainer who went by the name Yellow Tiger had managed to catch the third and final legendary bird. Articuno. Anyways, with only a few hours left of day 2, we grinded some more until we reached the point where most of our Pokemon were at least level 60. Until me and Buck were also finally able to evolve our Dragonair into a Dragonite as well. Alright, this bird is gonna die as well. Wait, I just switched it out, what the hell. I really should have a second look at, at the movesets by the way, I didn't pay any attention to them at all. I by the way noticed. I still had something from the very start of the event, which are these 13 rare candies. And I think that now is the right time to use all of them. 
All right. And I believe we're about to do something huge. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, this is great. This is great. A Dragonite. I think that we're ready. My Zepdos and Charizard aren't level 60 yet. But uh, that's alright. They'll level up tomorrow. With the sun slowly setting in the west, we decided to have one final strength comparison before day 3 would begin. And of course, we wanted to take a screenshot with all our amazing Pokemon. You're never gonna see <laughs> Alright, let's go here. Alright, just jump, just jump here. They're like, we're all happy with all the Pokemon we got. Alright, this is alright. <laughs> so many Pokemon. We're damn ready. The first battle was between Lunari and Sazu, which Sazu managed to win conveniently easy. After which, it was my turn against Buck. Alright. <sighs> okay. I started off with my Charizard, while Buck sent out his Dragonite, who, after I hit it with a Dragon Breath, immediately one shot my Charizard with an Aqua Tail. Let's make it a fair match. Following my Charizard's defeat, I brought in my Dragonite as well, who, because of the ability Multiscale, tanked Buck's Dragonite's hit, and after doing one Outrage, the odds were even again. You're so dumb, Buck, that your Kangaskhan doesn't stand a chance against Outrage. Okay, never mind. I got it too, baby! Apparently, Bugs Kangaskhan also learned the overpowered move Outrage and took out my Dragonite. This is where I send out Gengar, who has the ability Cursed Body. By switching Gengar, I hope to would disable some of Kangaskhan's moves, which it did. And with Kangaskhan locked in Outrage, which was now disabled, it struggled to death, but took my Gengar with it. Buck was still one Pokemon in the lead. But this is where I send out my Zepdos. You're gonna get slapped, Buckless. Surprisingly enough, however, his Flareon KO'd the legendary bird in one hit. What? Oh. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. One shot? <laughs> that should not have done that. Uh, yeah. Uh, at least I did give him a Paralyze. What? That's insane. That nah, is insane. Flareon's that cracked. is ridiculous. Following this shocking moment, it was my Rhydon's turn, who finished off the Flurion. Alright, Flurion is down. After which, Buck sent out Gollum. Hoping that, just like last time Buck was going to do Explosion, I switched out to Vaporeon, who took some major damage in the process. And with Gollum sturdy, my Vaporeon got put down as well. Oh nope, god. Sturdy, baby. I'm sturdy, baby. I'm sturdy! Leaving me with only Rhydon. I'm done for. No way. Alright, at least Gollum is down. Now I need to take out two more Pokemon with only my Rhydon. Not a very realistic goal, but uh, we'll see. Oh no, not Alakazam. <laughs> it's over for me. Miraculously, because of the Assault Fest item I had given to Rhydon earlier, he actually survived Alakazam's hit and took it out, leaving Buck also with only one Pokemon. What? <sighs> what? Assault fest, baby. What? How did it live? Sadly, Buck's last Pokemon was his Venusaur, who was both faster as well as super effective on my ride on. But it's over now, it's Assault gone. Fest is Damn. Nuts. GG's, Buckless. The fact GG's. that my Alakazam did not finish your ride on up is kind of. Alright. Following my defeat, Buck faced the other winner, Sazu. And after a tense fight, Sazu managed to beat Buck. And even though when we first met him he didn't have a strong team at all, he could now crown himself as the strongest trainer of our team. The sun set, and we were ready for the next day. At the very second the third day began, the chat already started filling with messages of people dying. From this moment onwards, if you lose a Pokemon battle, you die until only 8 people remain who would compete in the Pokemon League. And clearly, many trainers were currently fighting each other. What am I gonna do with all these Pokeballs I still have? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah, just... <laughs> Imagine if I the shiny, you need Pokeballs. Okay, good point, I'm gonna pick all of them up now. <laughs> While me, Lunari, Buck and Sazu were still running around the map hoping to not run into any other strong trainers, we stumbled up on something very strange. Wait! Huh? What's up? Wait, there's something here. Oh, there's smoke, yeah. Fire. Fire! Be careful, guys. What is this? Wait. What? 
What is this? A, a, a mysterious key card. A mysterious key card. It on it. It says six hundred minus one thousand. What what is this for then? What what is this for? I don't know. It just says mysterious key card. Well, I don't oh, think we should stay here, anyways. Let's let's see if we have the. Yeah, if, if someone finds us, we're yeah, gonna be screwed. Yeah, it was the only thing. So. You, you want to go to those courts then, or what? Uh. Yeah, I think we should go. Lunaria found a mysterious key card. With on it, courts to an unknown location. Which back the question. Would it be safe to go there? Let's go. I don't know about that. Those cords are a bit weird. We don't know where they came from. Come on, Sazu. Come on. Is it? Sazu. I mean, come on. We were the ones who found it. So, like, something. Yeah. Maybe we were meant to find it. No, we were meant to go. It could, like... be, it could be from you, too. Or it could be a trap. I mean, I you like those it? chances. You I think... like those chances. You like those chances? Uh, I'm kind of. I wouldn't risk it. Uh, I mean. All right, you I know mean, what? Yeah, we could get trapped, or I could get me too. Sazu did not trust the coordinates on the key card and refused to go. You know what, Sazu? I, I respect your choice. If you want, if you don't want to go, it's it's your choice. That's that's completely fine. I'd say that you just lay low, and that we'll uh, we'll, we'll meet uh, after we're back. Well, Sazu decided to lay low in the dense mangroves of the east. Me, Lunari, and Bark started heading for the coordinates. Yeah, what else could be there? Like, if we look at the legendaries from Generation 1, we have the three birds, which have all now either been caught or, or killed. Then then we're left with Mewtwo. If you guys wouldn't have wanted to go there, I wouldn't have gone either. I'm gonna be very honest about that. I mean, if you guys would have gone, I probably would have gone on my own. I'm gonna be so real. <laughs> well, I mean, like, what's mysterious about something falling out of the sky? Wait, slaughtered. stop walking, stop walking. Someone over there, this way, this way, this way, this way. Here, 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 over, get over the mountain, get over the mountain. There was someone over there. And after we had crossed half the map, we made it to the ocean. Hey, there's something here, there's something here. Someone's been here. It's, it's supposed to be over here, right? There is nothing here, Lunari. Maybe it's underground. Yeah, that does make sense. All right. Nice. A cave. Oh, it's a, big cave. a cave. We came all this way for a cave. Wait, what? what's that? Hey, wait, oh, wait, okay. Let me bridge real quick. Huh? What the heck? Alright, this must be the this must be where the key card sent you, right? Holy moly. And so before we knew it, we found ourselves in some type of abandoned lab. What is this? Barrel has been broken here. Someone has been here. Let's have a look here. Brewing stands. <gasps> TJ! Huh? I found a master ball. A what? A master ball is this guaranteed capture. Wait, what is this place you. I don't... What is this? I don't know. This... Lunari had found a master ball, which is the strongest of Pokeballs and has a 100% catch rate. But what was even more interesting was the weird tube in the middle of the room. Lunari, you, you had the key card, right? Yeah, I just I don't really know where to put it. I think I think it's over do here on the screen. Here? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm. Yeah. I'm a bit exactly. Yeah. Do it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like exactly. Right yeah. Here. Over there. Huh? Yeah, I don't think so. What the hell, Buck? I... What? What? I I can't let you have it. Why would you do this? What? You choose mine. I have to take you two. Buck. Buck. Yo, Buck. What the hell, man? I thought we made a pact. Yeah. Well, it's a pact. Buck, I'm what did you? It's Mewtwo, of all Pokemon, I can't let you have it. Buck has betrayed us. And when Lunari tried to activate the tube using the keycard, Buck initiated a battle with her. Which meant that one of them had to die. I trusted you. Uh, there's no, there's nothing I can do, Lunari. <laughs> oh my God. I... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't do anything. I can't... You, you have to beat him. Your one goal is I... to get Mewtwo. You... Better work for it now. Lunari only had one option here if she wanted to survive, and that was to beat Buck. It's not it's not looking good for you. But you, you're going to kill me! No, it, we were friends. We're not anymore. Sazu was right. This was a mistake. This is exactly what we need. We're gonna have Mewtwo. Or well, I'm gonna have Mewtwo. Come on, Lunari, you, you can you can have this, you can have this. Come on. TJ. No. I'm so sorry, TJ. 
No. No way you just did that. No way you just did that. No way you just did that. Oh my yep. god. Where's the key card? Ah, uh, here it is. Buck had killed Dunari and took the Master Ball and the key card from her corpse so he could subsequently awaken Mewtwo. <laughs> Buck, don't do it. Don't do it. Holy sh No way. No way. No way. Yes, yes. No way, no way, no way, no way. Yes, 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 yes. There it is. The master ball. Oh gosh. <laughs> I caught it. I caught you two. And I did it. I just stood there, not knowing what to do. Should I run? Should I fight? I had fought Buck earlier and knew that his team was stronger than mine. And now he even had Mewtwo. I trusted you, man. You. It's Mewtwo. I, I can't just give up the most powerful Pokemon. Yes, you like, can. I just can't give it up. No, I can't. Especially not to Lunari of all people. No, it's Bro, not. No, I can't. You said she had changed. You said you were a friend. And now you're doing this? Yeah. She did change. But it doesn't change the fact that it's Mewtwo. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't matter if she's changed. It doesn't matter who right, she Buck, is. Alright, Buck. You know what? I'm, I I'm, have Mewtwo. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm gonna get Sazu and I'm gonna get the hell out of here. This is done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done no, with this. No, you're not. No, you're not. Don't punch me, Buckless. Don't punch me. You know what happened? Don't, this man. This has to end here. I can't let anybody else run out and try to stop me. No, you already have Mewtwo. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. As I was trying to get away, Buck initiated a battle with me as well. And so, I had no other option than to fight. Let's just see what she got. One lucky thing for me, he started off with his Venusaur, which was weak against my starter, Charizard. Okay, okay, I expected you to switch, but that's alright. Next up, he sent out his Dragonite, Dragon against Dragon I see, who immediately got paralyzed by my Dragon Breath. Additionally, he even missed his attack. Oh! oh. All right, another dragon breath. That is so bad. Oh man, that's awesome. All right, right on. That is so bad. Let's go. Time to show this guy what we're capable of. Okay, maybe oh. not. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Aquatil. Aqua I should have seen that one coming. All right, never mind. That's all right. Vaporeon can take care of this. After I miscalculated right on speed, which caused him to be eliminated, I sent out Vaporeon to finish the Dragonite, making it two against two. Okay, Aurora Beam did the job. All right, this is the one I'm I'm kind of afraid of. Quick as Alan. He ain't quick as Alan. But just like the last few times I fought Buck, my Vaporeon was still very tanky. Oh, I missed my Hydro Pump. However, because I missed my first attack, Buck's Alakazam defeated Vaporeon. And so now he was in the lead again. Okay, there goes Vaporeon. Dragonite, come on. I hope this will do it. Ooh, all right. Ooh, that boy's tank. And so with an outrage, I took out his Alakazam, as well as his Flareon. Ooh. What? Wait, what? Oh my God. Wait, how? Oh my God. Use the big boy. I'm in trouble. Right after that, he sent out his new big weapon. Mewtwo. And it instantly destroyed my Dragonite. Alright, there goes the dragon. This left me in a very difficult situation. Bark still had two Pokemon. Mewtwo as well as Kangaskhan. My Gengar would not stand a chance against Mewtwo, as Mewtwo had an insane special defense boost because of the Assault Fest Bark gave it. And it wouldn't be able to take out the Kangaskhan either, as that one is immune to my Gengar's ghost type moves. Which leaves me with Zapdos who would most likely die against Kangaskhan if it loses too much HP to Mewtwo. But then, I remembered something. I had given my Gengar the move Destiny Bond. If your Pokemon dies after you've done this move, it will take the opposing Pokemon with it, making this my last resort against Mewtwo. Yes! Alright, 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 alright. Alright, the Destiny Bond strat worked. All right. What was that? It doesn't matter. You're about to die. Come on, bring it on. Uh, you, you can't take down Charlie. And now it came down to both our final Pokemon. All right. 
Okay. Ooh. Another one? Wait, we're both on Oh, this is not good. Oh my god. If I get paralyzed, I'm screwed. You're paralyzed. Uh, oh, no. Dang it, Ed. Yes. No. Oh my god. No. Buck, this is for Lunari. This is for Lunari. No, I can't. This no. is for Lunari. No. Oh, holy moly. Oh my god. Septos. You did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Screw the key guard. Screw the key guard. Screw this place in general. I'm gonna need to get the hell out of here. <sighs> Lunari. GJ. What? Hey, hey Lunari, yo! No way, no way you just got that. Look at him. There's no way you just got that level 43 right on. <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> I had defeated Buck in a battle that would haunt my dreams forever. But at least I avenged Lunari. And now it was time for me to leave and find Sazu. She did not deserve this. Now it's just a question if I even can trust somebody now. Alright, let's 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 get the hell out of here. It's time to go. Uh, I think this yeah, this was all looted. But while I was making my way to the exit, I saw name tags. Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 a team of trainers led by a player named Fuego Wave who called themselves Team Rocket had found the secret laboratory and started chasing me down. What is this thing? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where is he? What? Yo, what the? Wait. Is the lab? We were supposed to take his Pokemon. What Pokemon did he have? Hey, we suck at Team Rocket. I'm not gonna lie. We've been so Yeah, we suck. Yeah. So, we don't know what TJ would. This is probably the lab from you too, so more than likely TJ has it. We gotta go find him. We gotta go find him. Let's go. We got Team Rocket his ass. You gotta steal his Pokemon. Yeah, gonna rob this man. Yeah, yeah, Let's go. Let's go see if we can get him. All right, I think they went. I'm gonna get the heck out of there. Those were so many people. There were seven of them. All right, I'm gonna get the hell out of here and I'm gonna go look for Sazu. It's gonna be a hell of a challenge to find him, I'm afraid. And with bloodthirsty players all over the place, it's gonna be dangerous being outside. Because if you lose a battle now, you're done. Just like what happened to Lunari and Buck. Having escaped Team Rocket, I dug my way back to the surface and headed to the eastern outskirts of the map. Where Sazu told us he was going to wait for us. I haven't, I haven't been in this part of the map yet. What a horrible place to be at. Alright, the tropical rainforest over there. I mean, the mangroves would also be a great spot to hide. I hate this place. There are also no Pokemon out here. Oh, uh, in case you're wondering why my Pokemon don't level up anymore. For balancing purposes, during this event, there was a level cap of 60. Meaning that once your Pokemon reaches level 60, it doesn't level up anymore. Wait a second. Someone here. Hey, hello. Yo, hello. Wait, there are more people here. Hello. Bone Man uh, has a lot of people. I come in peace. I come in peace. Uh, you, you guys must be hiding in the in the mangroves for a reason, right? Wait. Bone Man did not want to fight people, so. Sazu. Sazu. Hey. Sazu was devastated when I told him everything that had happened at the lab. But at least we still had each other. As well as all these swamp people who had been hiding in the mangrove since the start of the event and were led by a peculiar trainer named Bone Man. Bone Man has a home here. Bone Man made one himself. Bone, Bone Man would also like to show the weird rope person what Bone Man has. Bone Man has lots of things. Bone Man has been gathering since the beginning of the event. Oh my god, are you- are you kidding me? <laughs> Bone Man has a couple more on his PC. The Swamp People welcomed us into their home. And after we had a quick chat and showed off our Pokemon, me and Sazu decided that it was time to keep moving. Oh! Bone Man likes the big bird. Mr. Traveler, before you go, if you ever see a Diglett, just think. It could be me in disguise. <laughs> I, will, I will remember that. What if it's a duck trio? Goodbye, good sir. And so, we left the mangroves and start to look for other trainers that could help us against Team Rocket. On the way, we also found something incredibly rare. All right, you know what, Sazu, I'd say, unless the person is like clearly very, uh... What? 
Huh? There's a shiny! <laughs> Wait! I just passed it! What? <laughs> Wait a minute, that canopy is supposed to be yellow! I mean, it's supposed to be green! Yeah, oh. it's supposed to be lime! I just, thought, I just thought it was a weird kakuna! <laughs> That's why oh, I uh, wasn't no. paying attention to it at all. Are you gonna catch it? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, a shiny, nice. Now, now, your, your, now your journey is complete, to be honest. However, the good times were slowly about to come to an end when just a couple of minutes later, Sazu stumbled upon another trainer, who challenged him to a battle. Yo, Sazu, you over here? Oh, you found someone else? Uh, yeah. And while this battle was taking place, more people started to show up, who also had noticed the threat of Team Rocket. You wanna, no, you wanna fight? Kill, we, you right. wanna battle? We've just, no, we, we don't just, wanna we, fight, we, we don't just, wanna fight. We just right. lost our, we just lost Dude, our Dude, Quake Wave like, has an army of like eight people. I, I know, they like, chased we, me down when we, I was at the yeah, Mewtwo we, lab. And yeah, Team Rocket was a big problem. But what was also concerning was the fact that Sasu's battle was not going well, as this trainer was incredibly strong. Who's slow, bro? Do you have any dark moves? Or electric? Uh, is this your last Pokemon, Sazu? The worst case scenario was about to become reality, as Sazu was slowly losing against his trainer. No! Sazu, no! No! No, it's not, no. After Sazu's defeat and death, this trainer left me with no other choice than to try to avenge him. I'm sorry, Luxuries, but you killed Sazu. I'm sorry. I respect it, I respect it. But this trainer was hella powerful as he managed to take out Sazu, who was already our most powerful team member. So yeah, this was not going to be an easy challenge. And I was already off to a bad start as he put my Charizard to sleep with his Gengar. Alright, there goes my Charizard, that's bad. After he killed Charizard, I switched in my Gengar as well. But unbeknownst to him, mine had a choice carve and because of that was faster. I don't think I have spent there. <laughs> okay, that's the Gengar, that's the Gengar, he's down. Ah, Gyarados, okay. One sad thing, his Gengar had cursed body as well and because of that I couldn't do any moves anymore and was forced to switch out my Gengar. Which meant that it was now Vaporeon's turn. This is so intense. As a response, the trainer switched his Gyarados for his Electabuzz, which prompted me to switch in Rhydon. But he had outplayed me. And instead of an ineffective electric move, he did a fighting type move, doing some major damage to my Rhydon. Ooh, you did low kick, I did not I expect you to do that. Oh my god, this is such a... We just keep switching and switching. <laughs> I decided to choose Zapdos as my counter for Executor, but as soon as I switched him in, he immediately put the legendary bird to sleep. Oh my god, not again. Stop with the sleep powder. Oh my god, there goes Zapdos. All right. With Zapdos out, it was my Gengar's turn again. Who one shot the Executor? All right. Come on, Gengar. Let's go. Okay, Alex. It's all good. Oh, I so hate this Gyarados. I didn't want my Gengar to be sacrificed yet, so I switched in Vaporeon, who sadly had to bite the bullet. Goodbye, Vaporeon. Now it was time for my Dragonite to shine who immediately took care of the Gyarados. But then the trainer sent out the only Pokemon I didn't want him to have. No, not a Cloyster, no, no. Oh, this is, this is bad. This is bad, not a... Damn, the, the only Pokemon you were not allowed to have, I'm gonna be honest. That ice move is gonna destroy me. Using a critical hit, the Cloyster one-shot my Dragonite, which left me with only two more Pokemon, of which one was only half HP. Things were looking bad. And things got even worse when the Cloyster barely survived my Gengar's hit and subsequently killed him as well. No way. No. Are you kidding me? Dang. No I way. It too. Oh my god, oh my god. With only right on left, all hope seemed lost. But then I remembered something when I looked into my inventory. I still had a bunch of revives. An item that can resurrect your Pokemon mid battle. Let's go! Oh We're not God. done yet. Wait, did you have two Gengars? Am I bugging? I don't know, maybe I used an item. <laughs> oh, you read. Oh, okay. This was the start of a few very tense minutes, in which both me and the trainer kept using revives on our killed Pokemon. That slow bro kinda scares me, I'm not gonna lie. And after we had both used more than 5 items, the trainer was out of revive. Is this your last Gengar? Your last Pokemon? Alright man, GG.
I, I'm gonna be very honest with you, I actually feel bad. <laughs> this really turned into a battle of the revives. Why you done that to me, but it, it was it was very good to well, watch. I, I will I, say it was very good. I kept reviving. I'm I'm an absolute loser, but I mean, if it means that I survive, <laughs> it uh, it is more yeah, than worth somebody. it. Using more than half of my revive supply, I managed to defeat the powerful trainer. But with Sazu now dead, I was alone. Can I like maybe stick with you so then? You know, if any, if a player with a high caliber does come across, I can just kind of like, you know, jump in and like, do that to him, like, twelve. <laughs> like, like with, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, just, sure. Just, just smack him. Yeah, that's all right. That's I, all right. I, I, that's People were dying left and right, and knowing that I needed friends if I wanted to survive, I teamed up with the friend of the trainer I just defeated, a player named Nox. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Anyways, he seemed like a nice guy, so why not? In the meantime, the clock was ticking. As on the edges of the map, the border was slowly shrinking, forcing everyone to move to the center of the map. Fuego and his men are the other Oh, Fuego, Fuego and that are over there. Like, I ran. As soon as I saw Fuego, I was like, yep, nope. There's right, two of us first, like 10 of them. Those are the people we have to look out for because, uh, like, when we were at the lab and I had beaten Buck, they showed up with like eight men. While moving to the center with my new friend Nox, we also met another friendly trainer named Ducky. Hey, is, Ducky! Is he a good lad? Ducky! Ducky! I'm not, I'm not gonna fight you, I'm not gonna Hello? fight you, I'm not gonna fight you. Hey, uh, guys, I don't wanna be annoying or anything, but the border is slowly moving towards us. And finally, it looked like as if I had a team again. The three of us moved to the cherry blossom biome in the middle of the map, where in a few minutes, hell was about to break loose. Absolutely. Hey, wait a minute, is that Bone Man? Bone man is Bone here. Man. Bone man. Oh, you Bone guys man lived. You guys had to leave the swamps because of the uh, will be. Yeah. At the center of the map, I reunited with several old friends from the swamps, including Bone Man. But it did not take long before we also noticed that most of Team Rocket was present as well, who immediately started causing chaos on the hill. Oh, okay, back, no, back, no, up, back, up, back 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 up. Guys, get get it's get get up the trees, get up the trees. Gone. People started to fight each other, and one by one, trainers fell. While the stronger and some of the more aggressive players initiated battles with whoever they could find, others started hiding to a point where even I myself was forced to join the battle. All right then, get it on. While I managed to fight other trainers that challenged me, most of the swamp people, Nox, Ducky, and Bone Man, were not that lucky. I had lost everyone, but then after a while. An announcement popped up. After more than 20 people had been slaughtered on the hill, 8 people remained. Me and 7 other trainers had managed to survive the third day. And now, it was time for us to compete in the Pokemon League, to find out who is the very best. In the quarterfinal, I was pitted against one of the surviving members of Team Rocket, a player named Framed. Um, no, no, I don't even know how I'm still alive. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I started off the Pokemon League with a ride on, while the Team Rocket Grunt sent out Jolteon, which he immediately switched out, giving me the opportunity to do quite a bit of damage to the Pokemon he switched in, Lapras. Oh damn, I should do way more. Without much difficulty, I took out his Lapras, after which he sent out a level 39 Redicade. I took that one out as well. <laughs> after that, he sent out a Hitmonchan, who took out my already battered Rhydon. Yeah, take that TJ! That Hitmonchan looks hella sick, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't seen any of those during the past few days either, but I'm gonna take care of it. However, this Hitmonchan hit really hard and took out my Charizard. But because that a live orb, it took out itself as well. No. Psychic does no damage. Gotta be this. I can't. Oh, no, you're gonna outspeed me. Next up, it was Gengar versus Jolteon. Jolteon's special defense meant that it was going to win against my Gengar. So I switched to Zebdos. A little bit of a miscalculation, as Jolteon could do quite a bit of damage to him as well. And on top of that, the move set that Zebdos had couldn't really harm the Jolteon either. What? No way! TJ! Yes, you're not faster. No. What? No! Stroke of luck, Jolteon missed its thunder twice, allowing my Zapdos to take it out using ancient power. I've thrown. I've actually thrown. So this I is unfortunate. This is unfortunate, TJ. And the Team Rocket Grunt kept making mistakes, as it subsequently tried to thunderwave my Zapdos, 
something that he is immune to, giving me the opportunity to use Rouge to heal up some HP. Oh, and it doesn't work. I thought it would. Ultimately, it ended up with his Electabuzz dying to my Zapdos as well, which left him with only one Pokemon, Rapidash. And after paralyzing it, my Zapdos took out that one as well, meaning that I was going to advance to the next round. I have made it to the final four, and could now actually feel how close I was to victory. But then, I saw who my opponent in the next round was going to be, Yellow Tiger. The mysterious trainer who allegedly had caught the third legendary bird, Articuno. Alright, here we go, bring it on. I can't lose here, Auntie. I've made it this far, and all I have with me is a Pokeball and a dream to win, baby. Yellow Tiger started off with Jolteon, prompting me to immediately switch to my Rhydon. After which he's sending Gyarados. Expecting him to do a setup move, I decided to risk it and attack it with a Stone Edge, doing some major damage. Subsequently, I switched to Vaporeon as I expected him to do a Water move. And once again, my prediction was right. A great start, I would say. But then, he sent in his Articuno. So the rumors were right, I see. And not being sure whether it had any effective moves, I decided to take another risk and try to lower his accuracy using Sand Attack. But to no avail, as it turns out that it has Freeze Dry. An Ice type move that is super effective against Water types. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, that must have been a critical hit. Yeah, it was a critical hit. Zepdos, here you go. Battle of the Legendaries it is. Immediately after I switched in Zapdos, he switched out his Articuno for his Jolteon, after which I switched in Rhydon again. But this time, he had predicted it, and switched in his Slowbro. Oh no, you outplayed me. You outplayed me. Expecting him to switch to another Pokemon again, I decided to do an attack with Rhydon. But he once again predicted my move, and took out Rhydon with his Slowbro instead of switching. Bro, you are predicting my every move. I started out so well. Uh, but it's not over, it's not over. And with Zapdos on the field, he once again switched back to Jolteon. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind, man. Uh, I hate Jolteon so much, I swear. I didn't want to let any of my other Pokemon get damaged by the Jolteon, as I was afraid I would still need them. So I decided to let go of Zapdos. Bye bye Zapdos, you did great. Alright, how fast is that guy is the question. I hoped Gengar would have been able to take out the Jolteon, but then he switched out once again. This time to Blastoise. And with me not even doing half as much damage as I hoped I would using the Shadow Ball, his Blastoise did a deadly setup move. Shell Smash. This is a setup move that raises the attack, special attack and speed of your Pokemon, while letting go of some of your defenses. Nevertheless, his Blastoise was now capable of doing some major damage. Luckily for me, my Gengar was Choice Card, and still outspent the Blastoise, taking it out before it could do any damage. That Blastoise could have sweeped my entire team. <laughs> okay, I, I could have expected your Gengar to be Choice Card as well, that was a mistake. After absolutely throwing away my Gengar, I sent in Dragonite, who killed the Gyarados he switched back in. And that's when he brought in his Articuno again. Expecting to be able to outspeed it, I tried to KO it using an Outrage. But somehow, his Articuno did outspeed, and absolutely destroyed my Dragonite using a 4 times effective Ice move, leaving me with only one Pokemon, my Charizard. The Pokemon that started it all. Alright then, Yellow Tiger, this is it, my final Pokemon. My Charizard was about to take out the Articuno, but then, he switched it out, and brought in Slowbro, who easily tanked Charizard's hit. Ah, come on, you could have let me at least kill the Articuno, ah, and subsequently, took it out. Meaning, that I had lost this battle. It was a good battle. And that was where my story ended. I had made it to the final four, but was put aside by the incredibly powerful yet mysterious trainer who subsequently also, without much difficulty, won the finale against one of the Team Rocket members. He could crown himself as the true champion, but at least, I can be proud of myself and of how far I made it.
please don't forget to check out PokeUp. This video would not have been possible without them. So make sure to watch the tutorial down below to learn how to start playing Cobblemon.